This puppy's hauling butt. Look at that thing. Now it's going backwards. Uh, that must be a trick of the video. By Juan Roch. Photography, January 4th, Switzerland. That thing is moving fast. That's pretty interesting. Moving, Q2. See, that thing is moving fast. That's a special comet. Come to me. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C2014. Q2. Love. Joy. And WTF. Professional science. Seriously, bro. I, mean, I know you guys are busy, but it's pretty late in the game, you know? Like, this is just a quick, quick little update on Comet C2 2014 Q2 Lovejoy. We are now at well over naked eye magnitude of 3.8, ladies and gentlemen. We still got about three weeks until perihelion. So I'm guessing, unless this puppy levels off at some point, it's definitely going to be a two. And I'm still holding out for some surprises. Who doesn't love surprises? We are over at spaceweather.com. We love this place. And guess what? It's telling us there is a magnetic storm on Comet Lovejoy. Question mark? Question mark. Around the world, observers of Comet Eisen. Shit. Around the world, observers of bright Comet Lovejoy are reporting activity in the comet's sinuous blue ion tail. Last night, Italian photographer Rolando Ligustra used a remotely controlled telescope in Spain to capture this plasma blob billowing down the tail, away from the comet's core. That's a blob, all right. That's what she said. <laughs> gross! I don't even know what that means, but it sounds gross. This could be a sign that a magnetic storm in underway. What? Have I been making too many videos? Let me try and read that again. This could be a sign that a magnetic storm in underway. Okay. Well, whatever, man. I still love you, spaceweather.com. Observers of comets frequently witness plasma blobs and disconnection events in response to coronal mass ejections and gusts of solar wind. In extreme cases, a comet's tail can be completely torn off. Yeah, I tore her tail completely off. That sounds gross, too. Man, I've just got the grossies tonight, huh? The underlying physics is akin to terrestrial geomagnetic storms. When magnetic fields around a comet bump into oppositely directed magnetic fields in a CME, those fields can link together or reconnect. The resulting burst of magnetic energy can make waves, blobs, and even ruptures in the comet's tail. When the CMEs hit Earth, a similar process takes place in the planet's magnetosphere, powering, among other things, the aurora borealis. For readers who wish to monitor the effects of space weather on Lovejoy, the comet is easy to find. It is shining like a 3.8 magnitude star, barely visible to the unaided eye, and an easy target for backyard telescopes, not far from constellation Orion in the midnight sky. Well, that's fascinating, I guess. All right. So this is the light curve. Originally, they predicted it to get to a 6. So at 3.8, it's pretty remarkable. And it proves the point that comets are like dirty cat dragon snowballs. You never know what they're going to do. Isn't it funny how... These photos of Comet C2014 Q2 Lovejoy look exactly like the photos from Fili and Rosetta of Comet Tuchu Chirpichinsko, or whatever the hell that one's called. <laughs> Comet $3 bill, baby. Yeah, but no. This is perihelion. It's definitely a, a 2. Whatever how bright you gotta be to see it during the day. Because that's when you know you're an impressive comet when we can see you during the day. I don't know. I want a line. You could even say... And everything points at about a two. No one puts it above a point two. Interesting. Well, that only takes us to January. Oh, okay, today it is the beginning of the 10th. So we are right about here. So look almost directly below the Pleiades, right below Orion's bow. Man, I'm going to go look in a couple nights. I'm definitely going to go look on the 12th, you know? When Orion's aiming his bow right at Lovejoy, that's going to be cool. And remember, it doesn't hit perihelion with the sun. 
And then the dirty snowball theory, this is when it's supposed to get most brightest right here. This is when it's supposed to peak. So it could go anywhere up to a 2, to a negative 2. Those are my guesses. Could be right, could be wrong. We'll see. Well, I'm in the city, so I haven't been out to look much. It's pretty cold, too. And I've been making videos. But I'm going to try and see it here in the next few days. And the moon has been pretty full. That's been screwing up shiz as well. Okay, great. How are you? Man, it's hard to get in shape when it's cold. And it's hard to get in shape when you don't eat right and you don't exercise. <laughs> and you don't drink any water. Just throwing that out there. That's what I do is I throw stuff out there. All right, so take a look into the sky. Tell me. Do you see anything? Can you see this comet? Where you're at? Okay, peace. God bless everybody. This one's simple, easy, and fun. This puppy's hauling butt. Look at that thing.